Hi, I'm Holly. I'm from Teach All About It and today we're going to be doing some daily practice for revision. Today we're going to be looking at an exam question and an example student answer for the IGCSE Computer Science Syllabus from Cambridge. Okay, so in today's question, we are going to be looking at six statements given about the components in the CPU. Now, this is definitely one of my favorite topics in the whole of the syllabus because the fetch decode execute cycle is absolutely fascinating. It is amazing to think that this is something that is happening billions of times per second inside our computers every day and ends up as something that appears on our screen. So, as we've done with previous questions, what I'd like you to do is to pause the video and have a go first. Now, just be aware that some statements may apply to more than one component. OK, so this student didn't do so well, and this is one of the reasons why we definitely do pass paper questions, because they can learn absolutely tons from what they missed and also um, look at some of the things that they might want to revise from this point forward. So pass paper questions are not always about getting everything perfect. It's about looking at what mistakes you are making and working out how not to make them in the real thing. So let's have a look and see what we would actually be looking for here. So you need to be aware that there are five registers for you to learn. So we've got three of them here. We have the PC, the program counter, the MAR, the memory address register, the MDR, the memory data register. We then also have the CIR, which is the current instruction register and also the accumulator. So in this case, we're only looking at three of the five, but you definitely want to have all five of them on your flashcards. So when revising this, one thing that would be really useful, especially for questions like this, is to create a diagram with the fetch decode execute cycle. So explaining the purpose of each of the registers as, a, as something that actually allows you to fetch decode and also execute um, makes it a little bit easier to remember because it makes it more visual. So this particular question was interesting because it allowed for crossover between the program counter and the memory address register. Now, if I was to be teaching this, I would definitely not allow this in practice, um, but just be aware that for the Cambridge IGCSE, there is a little bit of leeway uh, between the PC and the MAR. Um, for all other specifications, there absolutely is not. Um, and I would thoroughly recommend learning this um, in the stricter way, uh, purely because if you're going on to A-level, you're not going to get that crossover. So in this case, what we're looking for here is that um, all of them are registers in the CPU. So you can see here um, that uh, the MAR, absolutely, that's a register. The MDR is a register. The PC is a register. So holding the address of the next instruction to be processed is actually the PC. Um, in this case, they would allow you to get away with the MAR, but I probably wouldn't in practice. Um, holding the address of the data that is about to be fetched from the memory, that is indeed the MAR, um, because we're talking about addresses. It holds the data that has been fetched from memory. This is always going to be the MDR. So the data is always going to come into the MDR and then be um, held in there until the instruction is ready to be processed. Receiving signal from the control unit. Now, this one's really interesting because the control unit is like a manager of the CPU. Um, and because it manages the CPU, it controls absolutely everything. So it will signal to the MAR, to the MDR, and also to the PC. Signals to everything. So the last one, it uses the address bus to send uh, an address to another component. Now, if it's an address, it's going to have to be um, either the PC or the MDR. And the one that sends an address to another component is 
um, also going to be the MAR um, and the PC. So the PC sends the address to the MAR and the MAR sent, uses the address bus to then go off into main memory. Now main memory is also another component, so therefore we would need to tick both. So would you like your question featured on here? If you've been studying and you have a past paper question that you'd like me to answer and give some examiner style feedback, you can go to www.teachallaboutit.school and you can submit your GCSE, IGCSE or A-level computer science questions for free.